If you've not been to Island Park, Idaho, it is one of the most gorgeous areas to be. Absolutely beautiful, stunning waters, trees, mountains. You can see there's still snow capped over here. And then right in front of this cabin here are these beautiful mountains right here. And of course, a beautiful, clear, sunny day here in Idaho. Absolutely no clouds. Well, I take that back. There's a few clouds, but no clouds near the sun. And that's really what matters. You may be wondering why I look so funny. And no, not just because that's normal, but I'm actually at a job here, working at this uh, cabin here, way up in the mountains, working on some crawl space stuff. And we are using all battery powered tools, which makes life so much easier. But I would not go to such a remote location like this without a solar generator. So that's the real question is what solar generator do I bring with me on little jobs like this? And of course that's gonna have to be the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. And that's because it has almost 800 watt hours of battery capacity, which is a ton for recharging these uh, Milwaukee and DeWalt tools. Uh, we've got big SDS hammer drills and everything here. And we're drilling into concrete because we have to put in these, uh, these anchors down uh, below this this cabin here so the river too is light enough that i can carry it around with me quite easily but also has enough battery capacity and output that we can charge a ton of batteries if we really want to and normally i complain on solar generators when they have little lights on them and this would be one of the cases where it would actually be helpful to have one of those big broad lights on it but we've got uh like some milwaukee whatever big lights down there in this crawl space. So fortunately, it doesn't, it isn't required uh, in this case. But with this much battery capacity and how light it is and uh, just how easy it is to pour it around with the handle here on the back, I absolutely love using it on jobs like this. And then normally with me, I bring the 220 watt EcoFlow bifacial solar panel. And I would definitely do that if this was gonna be a multi-day job, but that's not the case. And this has enough battery for everything that we need to do. But if I wanted to keep it topped off, I would bring that panel. And I think they're doing uh, like Prime Day specials right now. Um, last time I saw they were doing that. And you can save a ton of money on these things. This is just for you guys' information. I really like these for a tiny solar generator. This is my go-to because it has an X boost, which allows me to get up to 1600 watts of inverter output. And it's 82% efficient. I keep that sticker up here from all the tests that I've run on it. And so you get about 82% of the battery out of it at a 0.2C discharge rate. So somewhere above like 650 watt hours, something like that, which for these uh, battery tools is more than enough. But sometimes we have to run like these SDS that have uh, big cords on them. And uh, those are really sucky to pull around because then we got to deal with the extension cords. But with this being so mobile, we can use the extension cords if we have to dragging the whole thing with us rather than moving the extension cord all the way around underneath. And then it just makes life easier because it's portable, but having the batteries here is even better. Now it is rated for 220 watts of solar input. And with that 220 watt bifacial solar panel on a clear sunny day like this, I'm always maxing out my solar input. And that's one of the biggest things that I generally complain about with solar generators is the solar input. Now you can use any solar panel you want with this. You can get a cheaper one, that's great. Um, but the fact that I can actually get the rated input is what I love about it. And so the reality is when I'm on jobs like this, when I'm remote and I need a little bit of power, it's the setup that I take, it's the setup that I choose. I wouldn't take any other one. I have, uh, I've used Pecrons, I've used Bluettis, I've used other ones, but this is my go-to one. It doesn't mean that the other ones are just an absolute loss, but EcoFlow has great customer service. In my experience, everybody's gonna have different experiences. Uh, the last time I had to work with them, they were very communicative and it did take a little bit longer for me to get my equipment back than expected. But overall, their customer service is great. I've always been able to get a hold of someone. The products are good. They seem to last. And I've had this one for six or eight months now. Haven't had a single hiccup. I can run big water pumps because of the X boost. So if I need to fill up water tanks from other uh, like rain barrels or something like that, I can move water very easily, which this has come in handy multiple times. I can recharge batteries easily when I'm out remote like this. I can run a refrigerator for a few hours, few hours if I need to. It's just simple. It's not gonna run everything and that's not what I use it for. But when I just need a little bit of portable power, it's the one that I go with. So I'll try to put links down below any coupon codes that I've got uh, for EcoFlow. But right now, especially, I think their prime days are even better or equal to like uh, their Black Friday and stuff like that. So hopefully this helps. 
Appreciate you guys. See you on the next video.